Elizabeth Warren said, I would withdraw all the combat troops. We have to recognize combat troops are not the ones who have been killing people probably since about 2011. The killing of civilians, in particular, is being carried out by special forces, by bombing, by drones. We ha heard the same thing from various other candidates, all of whom said they would leave some behind. And the question is, when we start saying, we're going to pull out the combat troops, in a sense, that's the easier part. It's the larger numbers, in most cases, but it's not the troops that are actually carrying out the very violent activities that are continuing to kill children and women and old people in and around Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq— uh, sorry, not in Iran, yet— uh, in Iraq, in Syria, in Somalia, in other countries, with these bombings and other special forces activities, with the assassination. That was carried out by special forces uh, with drones, not by combat troops. So, withdrawing combat troops is a, an important step. It's not really enough. The and, other point that uh, I think was Phyllis. where we, we saw just one, just one other point, we saw a limitation in terms of the issue of American exceptionalism. Across the board, particularly, of course, from the more centrist candidates, but it really across the board, there was a focus on what's going to happen to Americans, American jobs, American soldiers. We didn't hear about human rights in the rest of the world, even on a day after a U.S. citizen had been uh, had died in custody as a political prisoner in Egypt. We didn't hear about the rights of people in these countries. And that, I think, is something that we, in the social movements, need to be pressing all the candidates much more firmly.